Now, we're looking at this one, it's different. You're starting with moles, or pardon me, you're going to moles and you're starting with atoms. So you're going to use the chart the same way, but I want you to get used to writing stuff in. So we've got 12.04 times 10 to 23rd atoms of helium. Now this says we're converting to moles. So let's look here. Would you say atoms, before I show anything, is atoms a volume, a mass, or a particle? Where does atoms fall in? Is it a volume, a mass, or a particle? It's a particle, good. So here's how we're doing this then. We're going to use our little chart again. You'll notice down here this time, okay, we've got atoms. We're going to moles. So I want you to draw this out again. I know this is going to get old, but you're only doing it today. So you start out with atoms. Moles. Now, in this case, the chart tells you to, as you go up, divide by Avogadro's number. So you're going to divide by 6.02 times 10 to 23rd. So write that in. What's his name? Avogadro. Avogadro. And then you'll notice... The unit it gives you here is particles over moles. However, we're not dealing with particles. What are, what are we actually, what is the representative particle here? It's atoms. So you're going to write atoms over moles. Now, we're dividing by that number. So let's actually set it up then. You're going to go 12.04. Now you know you're dividing, and to just make sure, <coughs> atoms is up here, what must go down here? No? Atoms. Atoms of helium. Then what are we converting to? Moles. Now, notice, this is the opposite of this, correct? Those do not, those do not match up. That's okay. Because you can flip this either way, as long as you again remember one mole is equal to that many atoms. So, we put one here. we got 6.0 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. All you do is do the math. Let me remind you, when you type this into your calculators, what should you do? Parentheses around both. I know this. we haven't done this in a while. I mean, do you really need the calculators to do this? Yeah, it is two, but just so you know, always use parentheses. So, by the way, just for the heck of it, remember to cancel out. Okay, cancel those out. Atoms and atoms, they cancel out. You're left solely with <coughs> moles, which is what you want. And in this case, two... 0 0.00 moles of HE. Do we have to have 0.00? Mm, yeah, round to the nearest hundreds place always. Or just right to the nearest hundreds place. That's always going to be our significant figures here. So these problems are going to be really long and annoying. Today, they will be. But after today, they will they will shorten considerably. Yeah, this, this is designed to get you using the chart in a way that will be meaningful to you. Do you have homework on it? 